Hello everyone. In our previous sessions, we have already discussed about extrinsic semiconductor, its types that is n-type and p-type semiconductor as well as based on the type of impurities, we have defined the impurity levels as donor levels and acceptor levels. Also, what are the different type of transition taking place in between these levels? So, today we are going to study about what is the population of impurity level that is what is the population of donor level as well as what is the population of accepted level is the concept for today's class. Here we are going to consider thermal equilibrium means there is no change in temperature it is a equilibrium state and the temperature is kept constant. Here in order to understand the next part we need to remember some of the notations. So first notation let ND be the density of all available donors and NA be the density of all available acceptors and when the ionization takes place ND plus is considered to be density of ionized donors whereas Na minus is the density of ionized acceptors. We know that all donors or acceptors may not be ionized. So there will be some amount of unionized donors as well as acceptors. So here ND not represent the density of neutral donors or unionized donors whereas Na not represent the density of neutral acceptors. Let ND be the density of electrons bound to the donors which is nothing but population of the impurity level that is donor level and PA be the density of holes bound to the acceptors that is the population of acceptor level. So we need to find out what is ND and what is PA and for that we need to remember all these notations. Then let N be the density of electrons in the conduction band which are nothing but the ionized donors or even the transition may be taking place from valence band to the conduction band. So this N is the density of electrons in conduction band and P represent the density of holes in valence band. Here First, we are going to explain the population of donor level and simultaneously it is going to be same for the acceptor level also. So, ND, ND plus, ND naught is for N type for explaining the population of donor level whereas NA, NA minus, NA naught is for the population of acceptor level. So, let's start. Here we are going to consider small impurity concentrations that is we can take an example of non-degenerate semiconductors means there will be very less amount of impurities added. In such case the occupancy of valence band and conduction band will be described by Boltzmann distribution function that is we have already seen MB means Maxwell Boltzmann distribution or statistics is applicable and at these concentrations law of mass action must apply to extrinsic semiconductor also. We know that law of mass action is nothing but n into p is equals to n i square that is for extrinsic semiconductors law of mass action states that the product of majority charge carriers and minority charge carriers is a constant at fixed temperature. We have considered here thermal equilibrium means temperature is fixed and if you consider N type electrons are the majority charge carriers whereas holes are the minority charge carriers. If it is P type it is reverse of it. So law of mass action states that the product of majority charge carriers let us say here it is N and that of minority charge carriers that is P is an constant at given temperature and this constant is independent of 
amount of donors as well as acceptor impurity added that is your concentration of impurities added it is not going to vary this product that is it is going to remain always a constant and the constant that is ni square which i have represented this product of n into p which gives the constant is square of intrinsic carrier concentration ni is car intrinsic carrier concentration and n into p will be equal to a constant which is ni square so from this we can say that ni is equals to square root of n into p this is nothing but law of mass action for extrinsic semiconductors but the main thing what we need to remember here is in extrinsic case the value of fermi energy depends on like you can say more complicated charge neutrality condition because n is not equal to p and the dopants may be increased or decreased as per the requirements so fermi energy is little bit complicated to understand using the law of mass action that's why we need to consider a neutrality condition for homogeneous doping and then for such case the neutrality condition can be expressed as n plus na minus is equals to p plus nd plus the notations i have already explained where n is the density of electrons in conduction band na minus is the density of ionized acceptors whereas p is the density of holes in valence band nd plus is density of ionized donors so this is the neutrality condition in case of extrinsic semiconductors for homogeneous doping also we can say that nd that is the total available donors will be equal to sum of neutral donors as well as ionized donors and na will be equal to na not minus na plus na minus that is total number of available acceptors will be equal to unionized acceptors plus ionized acceptor density so these are something like a balancing conditions which we say as neutrality condition so if you consider the energy level diagram ev represents the energy of the valence band ec with respect to conduction band we have already discussed that whether it is n type or p type there will be some amount of impurities from other type of semiconductor also that is if you consider n type there are not only the donor impurities but also acceptor impurities will be present which are acting as minority charge carriers so i am explaining with respect to both the levels here in order to explain the neutrality condition we can just say that first transition if you consider it is from valence band to acceptor level that is in acceptor level we are having the donor uh, acceptor atoms means holes are present in valence band there will be electrons and these electrons may gain some energy and ionize into or excite into the acceptor level so this is giving you na minus that is ionized acceptors if you consider with respect to donor level from donor level the electrons can ionize into the conduction band giving you nd plus that is the density of ionized donors again another transition which can take place is from valence band to the conduction band that is electron from the valence band will be excited into the conduction band which is going to become free so here we have already explained na minus and nd plus but in acceptor level there will be some other atoms also that is acceptors which will be remaining unionized that is nothing but na not and similarly nd not will be the density of unionized donors 
So this is a rough idea how we can understand about these notations. So now let us switch on for derivation of population of donor level. So here we are considering N type semiconductor. So at low impurity concentrations as we, as we have considered the interaction between electrons which are bound to separate donors may be neglected because the impurity concentration itself is very very less what we have considered. That's why the electrons which are bound to separate donors they are not going to interact with each other and that's why it can be neglected. And for simplicity we are going to assume the impurity introduces only a single one electron level. It is just for simplicity to understand the population of donor level. And under these conditions, the level can be of three types. One is the level can be empty. That is one chance. The second chance is the single electron level can contain one electron of any one type of spin. That is it may be plus half or minus half. That is one chance and another chance is that the level can contain two electrons. One with plus half spin whereas another will be with minus half spin. That is they need to have opposite spins always. So these are the three probabilities or chances because here we are considering just a single one electron level. That's why the complexity of this derivation is reduced into these three conditions. But here the double occupation is not favored because of high energy arising from the Coulomb repulsion between the two localized electrons. So this is a foundation for knowing about the population of donor level. So next we have considered the thermal equilibrium and at thermal equilibrium the mean number of electrons in the system is given as this equation which is a statistical interpretation where the average number or mean number of electrons in a system that is n will be equal to summation over j nj exponential of Ej minus Ef into Nj divided by Kbt whole divided by summation over J of exponential of the same term that is minus Ej by minus Ej minus Ef Nj divided by Kbt. Here the summation is over all the states of the system which I have considered as J. Capital Ej is nothing but the energy of electrons in state J and Nj is nothing but the number of electrons in that state J. So this equation is going to give the mean number of electrons in the system. Then with single impurity we have just three states as we have already discussed. The first will be with no electron that is empty but if you consider empty state it is not going to give anything out of it that is there will be no contribution to energy and we want conductivity or anything for application means we need energy out of it but if there is no electron there is no energy that's why this chance is just discarded so second chance is with two distinguishable spin states with a single states with single electron of energy ed so for such case we can say that average number of electrons in a system will be equal to two times of exponential of minus ed minus ef by kbt divided by 1 plus 2 times of exponential of minus ED minus EF by KBT. 
so using the above equation we have just reduced it for two distinguishable spin states because summation is over j means we can consider all the states here but here we have just considered two distinguishable spin states that's why the above equation is reduced into this and in order to simplify it further we are just dividing the numerator in denominator so it will be equal to 1 divided by 1 plus half into exponential of ed minus ef by kbd actually it will be just 1 by 1 plus exponential of ed minus ef by kbt but here we have included half also and this half can be ignored because it treats two single electron spin states of equal energy as one state so half term can be neglected so using these statistical equations directly we can say that the population density of donor level in thermal equilibrium state will be equal to nd which is nothing but the number of donor atoms or electrons bound to the donor atom which will be equal to the total number of donors available into the mean number of electrons we have already found out what is mean number of electron and when you substitute we get the population density of donor level nd is equals to nd divided by 1 plus exponential of ed minus ef by kbt and also this nd is equal to nd naught that is which is bound to the donor level itself it is nothing but unionized or neutral donors that's why this is the condition or this expression gives the population of the donor level that is in case of n type semiconductor in the same way if we proceed we get the population density of acceptor level also that is again at thermal equilibrium state and the difference is that instead of nd there will be pa instead of nd there will be capital na divided by 1 plus exponential of ef minus ea divided by kbt in the above equation we can observe the exponential term is ed minus ef because we know ed is with respect to the donor level the higher energy level and generally while explaining the band structure i explained that the top of the valence band is considered to be at zero level that is k is equals to zero and also sometimes energy equal to zero because of which we are getting this type of change again while explaining with respect to the intrinsic carrier concentration there also we can observe this change and finally this is the expression for population density of acceptor level and also here we can say that it is nothing but the density of unionized acceptors that's why pa is equals to na naught and this is about the population of impurity levels the one is with respect to n type that is for donor level and another one is with respect to acceptor level so this is for today's session thank you